Hey everyone, today's tutorial is going to be on a quick and easy cutout sweatshirt that literally will take you five minutes to make or ten minutes depending. Um, the things that you need to do this are some scissors, a sweatshirt, and a little piece of chalk. Uh, and you want to lay out your sweatshirt on a flat surface. And there's some seams at the top that I'm going to point out on the inside of your sh arm and on the top part of your shoulder. You want to stay within the inside of those when you're drawing your lines. This is a, I did this, I did a couple of different ones, but this shape at the shoulder was the, was pretty attractive. This shape that I did here was a little larger than I wanted. Uh, it's, it's, it's kind of, uh, you kind of go, kind of go with your own body shape and your shoulder shape so maybe getting trying the sweatshirt on before you mark it would help but it's basically around the shoulder around the top part of the seam you want to stay with inside the seam like I said and then you want to go into a little point towards the front like that take your template you just cut out flip it upside on the other side so you can use it to mark the other shoulder so there's no guessing it's going to be exactly like the other side and trace around that with your chalk and cut that one out so they're pretty much perfectly even there's no guessing involved it's not really rocket science like I've said before it's cutting material and I never measure so I'm the worst. I just kind of eyeball almost everything that I do. Trim up the excess if you have any excess like little edges that you missed. And on the front part I did a couple of different ones. Um, I did one that has a triangle and you'll see it at the end. This one I'm going to do elongated rectangle. Uh, you can do so you can trace any shape you want and see which is flattering what you think is going to be most flattering on you the triangle like that you can make it a little bigger if you want to and then there's an inverted triangle I think would be nice to do I think that would look good but I'm going to do this long rectangle and I decided to do this because uh, I saw a couple of cutout sweatshirts on Pinterest that I thought would be quick and easy to do that anybody could do um, so you want to cut out your little rectangle. You can kind of judge it too of how long you want. I always wear like tank tops with mine. If you don't want to wear anything underneath, uh, you you can adjust it how you, you know you want it to fit your body. It's all according to how you want it to fit you. So and trim up all the little extra little ragged edges if you have any. Make sure it's nice and neat. You won't need to put anything over this. It's not going to unravel. Sweatshirt material is really easy. That's why I like to cut sweatshirts and uh, t-shirts because they don't unravel. Uh, the sleeves are easy. I've done this so many times I didn't measure, but try your shirt on and see where you want your sleeve to hit. Um, it's going to be rolled up twice, so keep that in mind. I like mine to hit like right below my elbow, so I kind of know where that is. Take the other piece that you just cut out and use that as your template to cut your other sleeve out. Uh, you can draw a line and cut it or you can just use your template and cut it from there. And then you're just going to roll your sleeve up a couple of times. Uh, I think this would be so cute with some embellished uh, rhinestones for Christmas or pearls. Uh, I'm thinking about doing that one to make this one a little dressier for holiday around the sleeve. I mean around the collar as well. I think that would be cute. And that's about it. 15 minutes, a plain sweatshirt to something kind of cute and trendy uh, with just a pair of scissors, my favorite kind of DIY. And there's the triangle one that I was telling you about with the triangle. I really like that one. This one's the, the square. See, the shoulders are a little bigger, like I was saying. You can make that any, this top part any way you want to. And there's the one I wore with some black jeans the other day and on my Instagram account. Thanks so much, guys, for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, please email me on my blog, Wobi Sobi, and that's where the written instructions will be. Have a fabulous day.